24's Mike Venner with sports. Welcome on in. It's time for sports. The Seawolves were hoping to get this weekend's holiday fireworks started early with hopes of returning the favor to Reading at UPMC Park this evening. Andre Lipsius and the Seawolves taking on the fight in Phil's brother Luke Lipsius of the Tennessee Volunteer Baseball team in town watching the former Vol. In the first, Brad Bass retires the side with a strikeout here for Erie and then gets checked by the umpires for illegal substances, but he's good. Something we've seen a ton, though, in both major and minor league baseball this summer, of course. In the second inning, nice play here by Spencer Torkelson. Mr. 1-1 makes the catch in foul territory here going up against the wall. And then to the third we go, Daniel Brito going deep off Bass to right field. Out of here for a two-run homer with the man on. Two-nothing lead for Redding at this point in the ballgame. Francisco Morales, number three prospect for the Phillies organization, gets Josh Lester going down swinging. Morales went six complete, giving up no hits, two walks, striking out eight batters. Zach Warren with three strikeouts as Redding was unstoppable on the mound tonight. In the seventh, Erie bases loaded on walks, but still in search of his first hit, and Drew Ward flies out to end the threat. Still 2 0 Redding, who would add a home run and fast forward 3 0 Fightins. Erie hitless down to its last out, and Lester flies out. Redding does it. The Fightins hand Erie their first no hitter, or no hit night, I should say, since 2005 as the Seawolves go down in tough fashion tonight. Francisco Morales, Zach Warren, Kyle Doey, and Brian Marconi combined for the Redding no hitter in a 3-0 loss for the Seawolves. Just the fourth no-hitter at the ballpark here in Erie and second against the Howlers. Erie and Redding finish the series tomorrow night at 7.05 p.m. followed by those post-game fireworks. To the Majors, Tribe taking